I'm Mary Kay Thatcher with the American Farm Bureau Federation. I'm Jeremy Wilson with Crop IMS and a producer from Southern Illinois. And we're pleased to announce today that we have formed an Ag Data Coalition, uh, a very interesting, a very unique group made up of Farm Bureau, some equipment manufacturers, some service providers, uh, some of the technology companies, 10 groups in all with the land grants. Uh, that is going to develop an ag data repository. Uh, we think this is exciting because it'll be a place where farmers can indeed put their data in a very safe and secure place and very easily hit a button and say, I want to transmit this to my equipment dealer or my service provider or my crop insurance agent. But it'll be one where that data will always be there. If a farmer wants it back, he can have it back whenever he wants. It'll come back in a very usable format. So we think this is really going to empower farmers to take their data, put it in a safe place, and be able to easily transmit it elsewhere without having to do a whole lot of work at home, messing with USB sticks, figuring out do I have control of my data if it goes elsewhere. Uh, we've worked for a long time with the industry on principles on security and privacy, and we think this Ag Data Coalition is going to develop something that will meet with the principles that are so important to farmers and ranchers. Yeah. And as Crop IMS as a service provider, you know, we have some of the some real challenges here whenever we're working with growers' data. You know, first we have a requirement to be good stewards of that growers' data. You know, they've agreed to trust us and share that data with us to provide analytics and, and other information and turn data into information and knowledge. And we need one secure spot that, that is built with state-of-the-art technology and and have and gives that transparency and that grower control uh, to our customers who trust us with that data. ADC delivers that uh, to us and so that now whether it's as applied data from where we planted a crop, whether it's harvest data, that grower can upload that data and share it back to us and it's stored in a safe, secure spot. You know, we have a data privacy and security statement that we live by and adhere to and so as we use all these other cloud manu uh, manufacturers cloud systems, you know, we have to understand the the data usage and privacy uh, statements of each of those individual utilities that we're using in softwares. And this is a way to know that all the data we store is maintained, is secure, and lives by the same principles that we do. As a producer, it, it brings incredible value to me as a farmer. You know, today my historical data for the last 15 years is scattered out on USB sticks, portable hard drives, and, and laptops is probably about ready to die. Now I've got a portal where I can upload all of this data and it's made available. So when the next person comes by to me and has a new analytic tool that they want me to evaluate to potentially maximize my return on investment, now I just give them a key and say, here you go, here's a key to all my data. You can upload that and bring it in. And at, at the end of the day, you know, if they provide me a good return on investment, you know, they keep that key. But at the end of the day, you know, if, if I find something that I maybe like better or, or maybe that doesn't deliver the value from me, I can take that key back and all my data is still in that same spot and, and now that I no longer have access to it. And you know what, it allows me that portability of my data to let it go where it needs to go. Well, from a equipment or iron dealer or even a precision ag dealer there's there's tremendous value you know just like crop IMS you know these dealers are, are dealing with you know a mountain of data that we have to share back to the grower and make it available to them so in the case of equipment dealer that may create setup files and different task files uh, to go to these field computers to plant harvest, steer, whatever the case may be, there's a portal now that they can upload that data and the grower has access to it and download it. But on the back side is we're needing access to this data maybe for analytics or for other things the grower may choose to do with that data, printing yield maps, printing, printing planting maps. Now the farmers can upload this data to one spot, grant that access to share that to that particular dealer, now he's got it all in one spot. And at the end of the day, if we're doing, doing some historical data, maybe we're looking at creating some variable rate application maps that takes two or three years worth of yield data. If a piece of that is missing, we have one spot to go back and get it. It's all there, we can import it into that and create those reports or those recommendations or things that our customers have asked for us and, and have one spot where we have let all that happen. And I think we've talked to a lot of service providers that are saying, hey, I see my competitors are building databases. 
I'm going to have to build one or I'll no longer be able to compete with them. And so this will provide them an opportunity to not go have to go through the hassle or the cost of building their own database, but instead having one where if the data is secure, but it's very easy for them to get it back out if they want it. And if the farmer says, yes, this is where I want it to go. Thank you.